As you all know, we celebrated the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary, the announcement that she received of the good news of God coming to her. And we had the service, of course, on March 25th on Thursday. And our Archdiocese has uh, put out a special doxology for the bicentennial of the Greek Revolution. And we uh, celebrated this uh, doxology on Thursday, but we also want to celebrate it again today. As you know, uh, the Greek nation has celebrated 200 years of freedom. And I I just want to uh, read quickly the encyclical by His Eminence Archbishop Elpidophoros for the Feast of the Annunciation and the 200th Anniversary of the Greek Revolution. And he addresses it to all of us. I won't go through all of the formal names here, but beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, the glorious feast of the Annunciation of the Theotokos is the annual joyful commemoration of the rebirth of the Greek nation. This year, on the very day we praise the incarnation of the Son of God, we celebrate the bicentennial of the Greek Revolution of 1821, the beginning of the war for independence and the restoration of freedom after four centuries of oppression. The glad tidings of the Archangel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary, rejoice, O full of grace, with the beginning of the liberation and redemption of every human person, the invitation into communion with God. For the heroes of 1821, this day was the rallying cry to freedom, for it was there that the people, that the people full of grace, of God's grace, came to the nation of the Hellenes. Greece has been blessed for thousands of years to be a most precious repository of treasures, of wisdom, spiritual knowledge, and the enlightened giants upon whose shoulders the rest of the world has raised its horizons. This noble country is the womb from which Western civilization was born. Philosophy, politics, reason, drama, music, athletics, and the whole host of virtuous human endeavors. The renewal of democracy that began in Athens 500 years before the birth of our Savior was born again in Greece. The rebirth of the nation in 1821 was a cause for worldwide rejoicing as it coincided with other nations throwing off their own yokes of tyranny. We turn the eyes of our hearts with deep emotion and gratitude the nation whose titanic struggle and blood-soaked sacrifice redounded to the benefit of every Greek today, whether of Greek, Greece itself or the diaspora. As we bend our knees before the holy icon of the Virgin, we bend the knee of our, of our heart before the sacred offering of our spiritual and national forebears. The immortal martyrs of 1821 understood fully what their forefathers, the heroes of the Battle of Salamis, knew 2,300 years before, that nin iper pandon agon, now is the fight for everything. The 25th of March is not only the anniversary of the rebirth of the nation, It is the symbol of the immortality of the Greek people. It is a shining star in the constellation of illustrious achievements of the Greek people throughout their glorious history. And on the next page, he has brothers and sisters in Christ with the gratitude to the hypermachos strategos of the nation and of the church 
Today we offer up a special prayer and doxology all across our Holy Archdiocese of America. These have been specifically composed for this 200 year anniversary in gratitude to God for the rich mercies with which he has so abundantly graced us. Therefore let us weave a wreath of victory from the valiant deeds of our warriors, ancestors, and crown their sacred memory. May we always be worthy of the freedom they gained with their lives and give thanks unto God for his mercy endures forever. Long live Greece. Long live the Greek nation. Zito i elas. Zito to elenico ethnos. With paternal love in Christ Jesus, our holy synod. El Pidophoros of America, Methodius of Boston, Isaiah of Denver, Alexios of Atlanta, Nicholas of Detroit, Savas of Pittsburgh, Yerasimus of San Francisco, and Nathaniel of Chicago. So uh, I will ask you all to please rise. We'll have a brief service. Uh, we are a doxology is giving thanks, and we are giving thanks for the Theotokos, who was the protectress. The Greek people waited for her feast day. They waited for March the 25th to go to battle because they needed someone to protect them, and protect them she did. So let us offer our thanksgiving. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Simeron disodiria simon to kephaleon, ke tu apeonos mistiriu i fanerosis. O Ios tu Theu, Ios tis parthenu ginete, ke Gavril tin harin evangelizete, Dio ke imisin afto, ti Theoto, let me translate that for you. Today is the summary of our salvation and the revelation of the age old mystery. For the Son of God becomes the Son of the Virgin, and Gabriel announces the good news of grace. Therefore, let us join him and cry aloud to the Theotokos, Rejoice, maiden, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Kitiria os lidrosisat ondinon evkari stiria anagrafosi po lisuze otoke alosehu. Satokratos apros mahiton Eg pandion me kin dinon elefteroson Inakrazosi kerenim fianim fefte Champion General, I, your city, now ascribe to you triumphant anthems as the tokens of my gratitude, being rescued from the terrors, O Theotokos. Inasmuch as you have power unassailable, 
from all kinds of perils, free me so that unto you I may cry aloud, Rejoice, O unwedded bride. And now we will have selected verses of the doxology. Doxa sinto dixandito fos, doxa en ipsis disteo, que pigis irini en anthropis evdokia, imnumen se evlogumen se, proskinumen se, doxologumen se, evcaristumen si, Via tin megalin su doxan, pros dexet in dei sinimon, o cathimenos en dexia, tu patros que le isonimas, cathe castin imeran evlogisose, que en eso tono mal su istoneona, Que isto neon a tu eonos, cataxios son kirie, en ti merataftí, anamartitus vilakti neimas, evlogitos y kirie, o theos ton pateron imon, que en eton, Que de doxas men on to no masu is to se on as a min genito kiri et o eleosu efimas cada per el pisa men he pisa evlogito si kiri e didaxon metadi ke o matasu. Para ti non do eleo su tis ginos cusise, agios o theos, agios iskiros, agios adhanatos eleisonimas. We will now have a few select petitions, and after each petition, Please join us in singing Kiri Eleison. Eleison imas o theos karada megaleos u demethas u pakoson ke eleison olimazi. Kiri Eleison, Kiri Eleison, Kiri Eleison. Eti domethai ped nepsevon kerf of oxon christianon. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Et ite domethai pe tu ad hiepiscopium mon jenasimu, ke pasis en Christoimon adofotitos. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Again, we pray for our country, the president, and all those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, that the Lord God will assist them and guide them in everything. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for the health, peace, and salvation of all who have assembled here to glorify you, our God and benefactor, on the illustrious bicentennial of the Greek Revolution that our fathers declared in your holy name on this festive day of the Annunciation as they proceeded to fight for faith and country. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for the eternal memory and blessed repose of all those who fought and sacrificed themselves in our nation's sacred fights for faith and country and for the forgiveness of all their offenses, both voluntary and involuntary.
Again, we pray for the protection of the Holy Great Church of Christ, our sacred archdiocese and our holy metropolis, this city and every city and land from wrath, famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, civil strife, and accidental death, that our good and loving God may be merciful, gracious, and kindly disposed, and may divert and disperse all anger and disease coming against us, and deliver us from his own just threat hanging over us, and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again we pray that the Lord our God may hear the prayer of us sinners and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all those who live everywhere on earth and those far out at sea or in the air. Be gracious toward our sins, Master, and have mercy on us. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. mercy. O Lord our God, you hold the universe together by your power and you govern the world by your divine almighty will. You made from one every nation of men to live on the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their habitation. You have been especially good to our pious Greek nation, granting it the knowledge of your truth, leading it to the light of the Orthodox faith and raising from it great fathers and teachers for the church. For centuries you kept it free by your divine grace, and when it was subjugated, you preserved it, and then delivered it, and resurrected it to a life of liberty once again. O oh, all benevolent Master, today as we celebrate the illustrious bicentennial, bicentennial of the Greek Revolution that our fathers declared in your holy name on this festive day of the Annunciation, as they proceeded to fight for faith and country, accept our gratitude and glorification and hear us as we implore you with faith. We pray for the souls of our fathers and brethren who for our faith and country fought and sacrificed themselves, whether they were slain in battle, hanged or executed, or they died in captivity and adversity, grant them rest together with your saints. As for us, grant that we all be worthy of freedom and preserve us in peace. Maintain all officials and authorities of our government in peace and concord and grant stability to both church and state. For you are the Lord of peace and the Savior of our souls. And to you we send up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. May he who for our men and for our salvation condescended to become incarnate of the Holy Virgin of the Holy Spirit and the, and the Virgin Mary, Christ our true God, through intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, whose annunciation we celebrate, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, holy glorious and praise for the apostles, holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of our patron saint, Anthony the Great, the founder of monasticism, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. This concludes the beautiful doxology. Uh, the prayers were offered, and the prayers were heartfelt. Uh, may God bless the Greek nation and the United States of America. I would just conclude with this. Whether you are of Greek descent or not, we are all Greeks. We all go to the Greek Orthodox Church, and we all have our roots in our democracy here in this country from the nation of Greece. So I would say that we can all celebrate, and, and we all should celebrate. And if you noticed, throughout the world, uh, all major cities, 
had a special presentation or, or a proclamation or they had lights, uh, blue and white lights lit throughout the world because of the democracy of Greece, the cradle of civilization. So let's all celebrate and may God rest the souls of those who fell asleep to fight for her freedom. Amen.